Hi there, welcome to Crimson's tutorial to setting up power auras for an elemental shaman and really for anybody if you're this is your first time ever actually seeing a tutorial on power auras. So once you've downloaded Power Auras Classic from Curse or wherever you may have gotten it from, um, you have to get into the context menu and then all you have to do is type slash power which is uh, slash P-O-W-A and this will take you right into the main menu. Let's drag this over here for a second. So for an elemental shaman, uh, first thing I like to set up is elemental mastery. And the first part of elemental mastery is exactly when it comes off a of cooldown. And this is what it looks like when it comes off a of cooldown. Uh, pretty simple. And it's also going to make a thundering sound. So let's go in here and set it up. Up here at the top, you can choose the icon that you wish and the X and Y values of it. I currently have a uh, texture number 29 with the X value of 200 and a minus 187. Um, those are, you know, you can do whatever you want to fit your needs. I like the color green to kind of signify, hey, Crimson, you need to go and use this icon or uh, elemental mastery now. So, uh, what you need to do is you make sure it's a my spell cooldown. Make sure you have elemental mastery typed in over here. Um, you don't necessarily need exact name, but I use it. And make sure you're also in combat. Animation, you really don't need anything for this center part. So it's you can just leave that all st uh, default stuff. And for the sound, you can just put uh, thunder, and that's what it sounds like. Sounds pretty cool. Definitely will get your attention. Um, make sure that you use it as soon as it comes off a of cooldown. Um, second part of this uh, is the outer ring part. I use number 21 for the texture um, with the 200 minus 184 again. Make sure it's my spell cooldown, element of mastery, and I demonstrated that you don't actually need to have exact name checked. Um, also make sure you're in combat. For the animation, you might be wondering how do you get this pulsating effect here. So all you have to do is go into animation and select pulse. And that will make it do exactly what you want to do. Sound, you don't need to put thunder here because it's already done. Very cool. So let's go ahead and disable these so we can take a look at the use effect of Elemental Mastery. And this is what Elemental Mastery is going to look like whenever we use it. And what this is going to do is it's going to have that same arcane intellect icon with a timer above it. The timer is going to signify the duration left of the cooldown in use. So what I do is make sure it's a buff, call it Elemental Mastery in combat animation. I like the pulse. Um, don't need a sound. They're already done. Um, most important part is that you want to have a timer on this. You want to make sure that you see how much time is left on this buff. Um, in case you want to maybe recast uh, Flame Shock or even put down Fire Elemental, whatever the case may be. I like to have it just in case I'll actually use it. Um, second part is the outer edges of this uh, this icon that we've created. Also make sure it's a buff, elemental mastery, uh, in combat, animation, I like the pulse and bubble effect. You can actually have two effects on a single icon, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um, pretty cool, just make sure it's pulse and bubble, kind of creates a kind of wavy look, um, I kind of like it. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we get into combat, and you hear the, the kind of explosion saying, hey, Elemental Mastery is off cooldown, and then we use it. And that's what Elemental Mastery is going to look like. And don't worry about all this other stuff, we're going to go into this very shortly. So let's go back into slash power, and we're going to configure the next three things. The next three things are our trinket buffs, and our use effects. Um, if you're a engineer, you'll have hyperspeed accelerators. You just want to make sure it's a buff. Hyperspeed accelerator is what it's called. Um, I like the animation to be flashing and electric. Do whatever you want. All you need to know is make sure it's a buff. Hyperspeed accelerators. Frostforge ring, which is the Ashen Band of Endless Destruction. All elemental shamans should have that by now. Uh, make sure it's also a buff. It's called Frostforge something. I just call it Frostforge. You don't need to type in the full name. Uh, animation, I like the flashing and electric. And that's what it will look like on your screen. Uh, next thing is the Dislodge for an Object Trinket. A lot of you guys out there will have this. 
and the nature of this trinket is that it'll stack up and increase your spell power. I like to know whenever um, the stacks I'm on so I can place my fire elemental, searing totem, or flame shock at the 10 stack and I don't want to have to dig through my buffs to know what stack it's on. Uh, so what you gotta do is you wanna make sure it's a buff. It's called surging power. Make sure it's surging. Um, you wanna make sure it's in combat and the stacks need to be less than or equal to 10 because that's how far it stacks up to. Uh, and animation, I like the pulse and bubble effects. So let's go ahead and test this out and hopefully the RNG gods will bless us to make this quick. There goes the hyperspeed accelerators, as you can see up here. And there goes dislodge for an object. And let's see if we can get the ring to go. And there goes the ring. Fantastic. And as soon as we exit combat, all of these things will go away. And there they go. So let's move on to the next part. Next part is the, you may or may not have seen it in the uh, uh, beginning, is the flame shock and lava burst kind of monitors that I have, which is this and this. It's two parts, okay? First part is to have the red, which means that they're active. For the flame shock, it's going to be um, a debuff, call it flame shock in combat, and you need to make sure that enemy target is checkbox because well, you're not monitoring yourself, you're monitoring the enemy, and making sure it's on the enemy. Um, you don't really want an animation on this because it's just kind of plain, you don't want it to be bouncing all over the place, you just want to be able to look at it. Um, also make sure it has a timer on it, which is what you can see here. And for the lava burst, let's go in over here. Make sure it's a my spell cooldown. And you need to note that this is inverted. Inverted 